we're gonna get this good. I think like you're headed way above them, you know? My stuff isn't produced. I just catch it as it is. Chris would be one of the pioneers in producing, selling, promoting vernacular music. For him, authentic music was down home, deep rooted, of the people that came from within. What people love about America is the culture. That they love Hollywood and they love the music. And so much of the music that people love around the world came from these rural communities in America, especially in the south of America. And if it wasn't for people like Chris going down and recording this stuff, we wouldn't know about it. And in some cases, it might have just disappeared out of cultural history. Didn't miss my loved one until she had gone. All the artists that Chris recorded are the pinnacle of the artists in their field. You know, he just got right down there. It was a small business still in those days. It was a trunk thing. You know, you trunked your records around in the Cadillac. That's what you did. Brought them to the radio station yourself. He did it all himself. He's a classic record man in that sense. Not corporate. Not about to take orders or, or fit into any kind of system, see? Those are the kind of people that started the record business in this country. I never had a studio. I, I never wanted a studio, really, because I knew the music I liked was all over the place, especially in Texas and Louisiana, and Mississippi, and God knows where. I didn't want to be bothered by having to record, like most record companies, they record everything that they think is commercial, you know. I didn't want to record stuff I don't like. Yeah, yeah. It's because of him, really, that I guess I'm here now. It is. I probably wouldn't have embraced the culture as much as I have. Of course, I mean, I would have found it, but I probably wouldn't have found it quite as interesting as I do now, you know, because I got to see it through the eyes of an outsider, you know? I was not conscious that this was any kind of a cultural preservation. I just dove into this like a guy diving into a swimming pool, <laughs> having a great adventure underwater or whatever, <laughs> well, or going to paradise without having to suffer death, you know? Scream! What they get on our Hooli records is the voice of people that aren't otherwise hearable in the big media. And they are sort of the, the core bloodstream, the core genetic code of American culture. This ain't no yuppie music. I don't know why I like it so much. It's just got some guts to it. It ain't wimpy, that's for sure. <laughs> it ain't no mouse music. <laughs> <laughs>